So if you need to find five eighths on a ruler or on a tape measure, here's the way to think about it. Right in the middle, so we have one, all of this is one right here. Right in the middle we have one half, so this is the one half. If you take half of that, so if you take half of this right here, you're gonna end up with one fourth. So one fourth, that's half of one half. If you take half of one fourth, right down the middle there, you end up with one eighth. So each one of these right here, it's gonna be one eighth, and we're looking for five eighths. One, two, three eighths, four eighths, four eighths, that's the same as one half, and then five eighths right here. So we can divide it up into eighths, we can pretty easily find that five eighths. Let's try it on a blank tape measure or a ruler here. So right down the middle, that's the one half, and when we cut this one half in half right here, we end up with one fourth. Cut that one fourth in half again. This right here, that's our one eighth. So once we have one eighth, we know that each one of these is one eighth. So we go one, two, there's three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. Right here is five eighths. That's what we're looking for. Six eighths, that's the same as three fourths. Seven eighths, and then eight eighths. And eight over eight, that's just one. So that's how you do it. This is Dr. B finding five eighths on a ruler or a tape measure. Thanks for watching.